Hey there, and welcome to 519 Highway 49. Just a quick little neighborhood check here. There seems to be like a little cul-de-sac with a couple homes straight ahead there. That's not the main entrance. Um, some really nice older homes, definitely over 100 years old, right close by. So lots of great neighbors, some fun historic stuff. Everyone seems to be taking care of their property. Uh, we have a brick bungalow here. Let me just zoom back out. A little bit of board and batten type siding there. Nice flashing and eaves. Everything seems to be all in. Check on that front. Um, newer windows all throughout the home. We didn't check all of them, but we're going to say most of them have been redone, which is great. With a nice big garden up the front here. And your home inspector will love this spacing for the uh, water intrusion factors. There's a little brick um, patio I was on there. Coming inside, we have hardwood floors. We have today's feature video model <laughs> ready to show off the house. What would you say out of 10 this house is so far? Probably an eight, but mostly just because the dog poo hasn't been there. Okay, yeah, there's a little bit of a backyard cleanup situation, but the house is looking pretty good. We've got this hardwood flooring through most of the home. Um, we were enjoying this uh, stone hearth here that's all been painted white, so that is all stone. Your TV, your ledge and everything, all built right in. Cabinets and whatnot. We had our newer bay windows there, a little bit of a ledge. You have plants, a dining area, so living dining in there. A little bit of a breakfast bar aspect for your um, kitchen island. This is just like a linoleum product for your countertop but with the cupboards there is some upgrades made so you have all these nice pullouts um i believe everything was soft close let's find it right now yeah soft close love that some of the doors look like they could use a little bit of a, a shimmy to bring them true got a nice tile backsplash there Smaller sink, but you have tons of counter space to increase the size there should you need. Um, lots of window options still. Nice deep fridge. Blinds about. I'll take you over to this sliding patio door. The yard, um, we're gonna double check exactly where it goes because it does kind of clip off to the left a little bit there, but that is your shed. Um, we're thinking it goes right to the front of these trees in the back line there. So ignore the uh, dog run. That is handy for um, dog use but or dog running. We have a uh, hot tub here, which is excellent. Uh, nice high ceilings in here. I'm going to say probably like eight feet. Same hardwood again coming upstairs into a tile bathroom. The vanity is a little bit dated. I mean, you could probably just put a little glue on that and forget about it if you don't want to replace it right away, but it is otherwise functioning just fine. Just a simple insert here for your four piece. Window high up for privacy, but there is light coming in. One more turn here, there. So we do have the flooring changes up a little bit here. It is definitely a hardwood product, almost like a half inch on thickness. It's definitely good quality, but the flooring itself mixes up a little bit. We are in the smallest bedroom here, which appears to be used as an office. I think most bed sizes should fit in here, no problem, and have end tables, but probably best for maybe a maximum queen in here. Again, with the newer windows, I think they must have done like a whole home package or something. They appear to be the same size, nice deep closet. Into the second bedroom here, appears to be a double, but as you can see, tons of room on each side for a larger bed, should you need. See, great windows, these blinds seem to be about as well, which is great. Um, not a lot of plugs. I've seen two so far. If there's a third back here, I'll drop my criticism. There's at least one on each wall. Sorry, I didn't notice that one before. 
and then into the primary bedroom here. Tons of space, nice high ceilings again. Great view out into the yard. So whatever you do back there, you'll be able to peek out and over. Let's check out your closet quick. Nice double wide and it goes in as well, which is great. downstairs here we are into um i guess it's sort of like a little workout room but i don't see why it couldn't be a second living room probably really easy to close off the base of the stairs there the uh, flooring material down here i believe to be more of a vinyl we'll try and figure that out oh no it's a uh oh dear it's slipping my mind it is vinyl flooring sorry yeah the one that clicks together. We have the windows done down here as well. Sort of just a simple bead ball, a bead board on the wall. Into our electrical room here. We've got our washer and dryer, furnace electrical ages we're gonna double check. Um, the wiring type we're gonna double check as well, but we have a nice 200 amp panel here with Tons of room left on it, so if someone has upgraded that probably within the last 10, 20 years. Plumbing, we still have lots of signs of copper, um, but I'm not seeing any signs of galvanized or anything like that, which is great. Older laundry sink, a uh, sump pump that works really well over there on a backup battery, which is great. You can see the concrete that would be beneath the flooring if you were to change it out. Um, hot water tank there. We'll double check that that's not a rental. I see the reliance there, so there's a chance, but it could have been bought out um, for sewer lines here, which is what we're on. Didn't see any galvanized or anything, so all that plumbing would have been updated recently when all of that was uh, replaced. We've got joists on a good span here, um, not too far, so your floors should have a really long time before they start to get creaky or wavy, if they do at all. It probably will not be in the life of you owning the home. I think I had to use my phone's flashlight in here before. I don't know if the magic of iPhones can help us out once I'm in the dark here. No, fortunately no light under there, but we did have a check. It's just um, the span of the house, which is great. So tons of room under there. So if you have some little wheelie dollies, you can kind of push some stuff back there. Just a concrete pad in great shape. There was some insulation um, on the outside wall there. So you shouldn't have to worry about the frost too much and temperature changes all the rest of it there's just minor bit of plumbing going down through there and some duct work um, not much to be mentioned on that front i didn't see any signs of water intrusion damage any of the rest so i would feel pretty confident that if you um were to get a home inspector in here there wouldn't be a bunch of things that should have been found already yeah the house checks out give you a little bit of a reverse tour here right up into your living room Boy area and panning across straight upstairs. Thank you very much. Bye.